Hello everyone, this is Angel Row Music here, and I uh, got a little bit something different today. Uh, not any music of mine, but a quick tutorial video on some really cool things you can do with Pure Data and the Korg X50 synthesizer. So what I, what I want to do is make a system exclusive editor for the Korg X50. And so we've got our SysXN object. Uh, whatever comes in, we have to add that to a message. And of course we want to set the message. Now, to get SysXN, we're going to push a button here on the uh, in the uh, basic oscillator mode, and there you go. Look, there's your beautiful SysX message. And how many bytes? There are 13 numbers here. And we want to copy that, put that right there, and hang on to it for a few minutes. Alright, so let's reset. Clear that out, and there's another one. Now check this out. You want to find what changes, what number is different from one to the next, and that's uh, you're going to want to be able to send a number in that spot. So how do you do that? Real simple. We go here, we go dollar one piece of cake. All right, so let's test this out. We're going to add a number, Adam. There we go, and. We need some output. Now there's no sysx out, so what we want to do is MIDI out instead. There we go. We have to use that, and, and that just sends raw MIDI out, and this works quite nicely. So let's test this out real quick. Oh, um, and let's make sure it's actually you know going through, because I always have doubts. Like, you know, I don't know if it actually works, so I like to actually see something on my screen that lets me know that, hey, this is doing what so I'm gonna make a couple of changes here. Um that that sysx in right there it'll make a big mess if stuff I'll, I'll show you all about that later. So let's here we go. Let's move this and is it working? It looks like it's working just fine. All right now here we are. Now I'm going to change uh the mode here oscillator mode double drums and you should see that reflected um here so I'm moving Right, I'm sending the message out, and what you're seeing when it goes uh, single, double, drums, this is it. So we don't, yeah, three doesn't do anything. So we find our range is zero, one, two is all we can really uh, work with here. So one, I'm just kind of messing around here, and I'm looking back on the keyboard, and everything's working just fine. All right, so we know this works. Now, always want to leave a comment and say, what is this thing? Okay, it's oscillator mode. Let's move that over here. Let's fix that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, single, double, drums. Just let my, just reminding myself what this thing does. Okay, that's important. I want to need, I'm wanting to use that later. And, and I'm, uh, down here, I'm going to put the range, zero through two. Right. Okay. Let's see. How's it look? Looks good looks good I like it and that's just basically how you get started now what we're going to reconnect sysx in here now watch what happens when I send messages from the keyboard back to the computer uh, it just makes a big old mess so what we want to do is figure out a way we can clean this up okay so we can just kind of monitor the six the sysx that's coming into the computer and uh, that's just Let's get rid of all this. All right, I want to I want to keep this. I want to hang on to this. Uh, so let's copy that and just move it out of the way. Just move it over. Get out of the way. I got a small window. I probably should use a bigger window, but it doesn't. There we go. Okay, it's gone. All right. So what we want to do here? We're going to select all of this and uh, goodbye. All right. Now here we go. We got an inlet and an outlet. Start with the obvious here. You see, you know, there's less trouble I have to deal with. All right, so here we go. SysXN, just like we started with earlier. And uh, I'm going to kind of move this around a little bit. If you start everything kind of neat to begin with and kind of organized, uh, you know, it makes things a little bit easier uh, on down the road. So we want to trigger something. Now we need a counter, and that bang is going to move that counter up. Um, you'll, you'll see why. Uh, and let's see, what do I need? What do I need? I need, um, I need something. Um, 
a message and we're going to this is where we're going to add our um, we want to add our sysx message all right and this is how we we're going to build it you know whatever comes in we're going to add that um, remember that bang there okay it's just kind of mysteriously hanging out there all right so zero this is going to reset our counter sometimes things get a little bit chaotic and uh, you know so it's not counting the numbers in your message correctly so you have to hit the reset but that's why there's an inlet we don't need an inlet because we got sysx in so what we're going to do here's our counter uh, if I've got a bigger project and I've got a lot of stuff going on I need a lot of counters I'll just say that as one um, I'll just say that as a as a sub patch and just copy paste that but I don't need a whole lot right now this works just fine for me all right so inlet will connect it to the zero and now our bang we're going to move our counter up and what are we counting we're counting uh, the numbers the the different bytes that come in from the sysx message because we want to insert a, a dollar sign at a certain spot now we're going to wrap this um, every 13 you know mod 13 uh, let's see here we go and uh, what do I need um, okay so every time a zero comes in we're going to want to refresh that message okay it's going to write a message we want to start completely clean so now we need a set message there we go and every time that zero comes in boom it clears it erases it it's beautiful all right now let's see we need our actual message oh wait let's make sure we reset every time there we go it's kind of useless hanging out there not connected to anything all right so now set mm -hmm. um, okay yes that's, so we want to make that go out and we need we need our yeah we need our message to go out and there you go so now we're not going to put the dollar sign in just yet. We're going to save that for later. And what, what I want to do is hang on to this because this is a good basic um, a good basic kind of uh, monitor. So we can see what's coming in and it doesn't clutter up the screen. All right, so the select zero clears everything and we're going to add a different um, we're going to add something else to our message in the next version. So I want to save it PD sysx input and let's just let's see what I'm just kind of looking over everything. Alright let's, let's go ahead and, and uh, clear that out and my windows opened off to the side. Uh, let's copy that in there and see inlet and outlets there. Very good. I'm going to add a bang. Bang. Hello. Message bang. And that will reset if we ever need to. Now, I have no idea. It's just a bang hanging out there. I have no idea what it does. So let's leave a comment. And let's see here. Uh, we'll just call it reset. There you go. And now we need a, yeah. Um, try to make everything kind of nice looking. Uh, I try to stay organized. I'm not very good at it, but I try. And here's our message. And let's get that right there. Good. And there we go. Bang it out on the keyboard, and there you go. So you can see what's changing, 0, 1, 2, as far as up and down as it goes. All right, so now we're inside the uh, sub patch, and I, what I'm, I'm working with a copy of the sub patch. I just copy pasted it and opened my paste. And we're going to modify this a little bit so that every time it writes that message, it's got the dollar sign in. So we wanted to change a few little things here not anything drastic it's going to follow the same basic pattern but we'll need a little bit more room and uh, i'm just looking it over all right so now we've got to do this trigger again we've got to do it reverse because we're going to send um we're going to send all everything out first and it's going to count them and it's got to know when to stick that dollar sign in there all right, so we want to reverse it. We want to send the numbers first. All right, so next. it's pretty much the same thing. It's going to be add to dollar one, but let's make sure we get our uh, 
you want to store it as a float and send it later on. All right, so let me think, let me think, let me think. All right, yeah, message add to dollar one. No different, except we're just going to kind of make it hang out in that float for just a, you know, just for a few seconds here. And let's see, sysx in, we want to store our float here. Float's going to go out, and that's eventually going to go to our message. All right, so now we want to count up need my counter and I've already got it here I'm not going to waste all the time doing this from scratch all the time it's like right there so why not and scoot it over right there and we need that mod 13 let's go ahead and get no not like that unintelligent Actually, there we go alright um, <laughs> there we go so now we can reset it bang we gotta move our counter there it is all right, good. So now we need that mod 13 to select. Cool. Copy. And let's move this over here. See, it looks just pretty much just like what we already done. And uh, But we do have a couple things we want to change. Uh, let's go ahead and cable. Yeah, cable that. And now select 0 to, to you know clear it out. Now... 11 is where that byte goes, where the where the dollar sign goes. So what we, we what we got to do is filter out that byte and make sure nothing gets written there, but we have the dollar, the dollar sign and the one. All right, so we're going to do another trigger. Now for zero, you know, for zero, what we want to do is we want to trigger that set like like usual. Um, I think no. All right, yeah. Add dollar. So it's a d d d. It's not just attention deficit disorder. It's attention deficit disorder with another d. Um, dollar. There we go. And one, not a dollar one, just one. It'll 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 do it. It'll work just fine. There we go. And now we need eleven. Is yeah. And now, uh, anything else that comes out needs to to um, go through as normal. All right. So let me think. Got to bang something. Bang, bang, bang. And just try to keep in mind. The order oh yeah set right mm -hmm. set move it move it move it come on come on come on there you go right there and move it all right so the set's got to go first remember you got to go right to left then we're going to send our float which is right here and that happens on zero that's the first step now then and now when it gets to 11 well, it's not get ever so when we want to bang um, everything else after that because we're going to set then send whatever it is and then we want to send everything else. It's going to count up when it gets to eleven. Uh, let me think. Did I do that right? Yeah. When it gets to eleven, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where's my brain? Um, right. Let's get that, and then uh, here we go. Okay, uh, add the dollar, and that does that. I'm missing something. Oh, the set. Set. Come on. Come on. Set. Set goes. Set. There we go. I'm so slow. All right. <laughs> uh, now, let's line everything up and make it nice and pretty. And nice and neat, and everything lines up. And I'm not just obsessed with neatness. It's just, I just like everything to look a certain way and nice and neat and organized. And if, if I ever do make a mistake, it's easier to go back and just kind of pull things apart and let's get rid of that and close this. 
and there we go. Now let's rename this because this is not the same monitor. This is different. And it's this X, and we're going to call that learn because we're, we're trying to learn. Um, reset. Now let's get some stuff out of the keyboard. There you go. Check it out. Dollar sign. And I'm now I'm going to voice assign mode mono and poly, just going back and forth between that to test that. And it's telling me um, which one it is. Is it, you know, um, single, double, whatever. All right. And um, now you're going to see that change. And now you're able to get different uh, messages out to for uh, different parameters. And that, that way we can keep them straight. So let's go ahead and bring this back over. Let's move this down right there. And we're going to we're going to take that, move it over here. Come on, come on, come on. And and I'm going to uh, I'm just looking. I'm just monitoring it and seeing what's going or what's coming in. You know what the message looks like. What's you know where that 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 dollar one's going to be. And now here is where it changes to the specific parameter that we're going to change. And see that works, that lines up right there, and you see the two. So that's uh, pretty much it. Very cool. And the, it gets a little bit more complicated than that um, because sometimes you do need um, different parameters um, actually control one like different sysx parameters uh, control just one um, parameter on the synthesizer so um, I'll, I'll get that one next when I get a little bit uh, further down line. so I hope that helps uh, if anyone's mystified about sysx and and uh, working with with uh, pure data there you go so uh, thank you and goodbye